Amen. Paul forewarned, know this also that in the last days, in the last days, in the last days, perilous times, dangerous times shall come. Dangerous for what? For you and me that are saved. Why? Praise God. Because the world don't want the church to live. The devil wants the church to die. Oh, but aren't you glad that my life and your life that are saved is not in the world. We're in Christ Jesus, the giver of life. I say hallelujah. All these things unfolding. Amen. The computerized age that we live in. Amen. The forming of one world government. The federation of the churches. Amen. Have you not listened to the news lately? Amen. How it's being pushed and prompted that the churches come together. Amen. As one. Amen. My goodness, yes. There is but one true church. Amen. But I don't agree with some of the religious places that call themselves a church. I won't stand behind. Amen. Listen, a homosexual is preaching from the pulpit. I won't stand behind, amen, amen, adultery and fornication, I won't stand behind abortion as being just and right in the eyes of God, what I will stand behind is a living word of an all-powerful and mighty God. We're living, we're living in the last days, amen. All these things are pressing upon us. Amen. And people will tell you from time to time, preacher, amen, I'll get saved. Amen. Maybe when the journey of my life is about over, I hear this, amen, from time to time. Preacher, I don't think I can live it right now, but I'd like to be saved. Amen. I'll, I'll try my best to get my heart to the Lord before I die. Well, let me tell you something. Amen. You're waiting on physically dying, but I'm waiting on the coming of the Lord. Amen. I'm Listen, I don't believe we have to die. I believe we can be changed in the twinkling of an eye, in a moment's notice. Woo! Oh, morality. And put on immorality. We can be, amen, forever with the Lord this morning. Yeah. With all these signs being fulfilled, his coming, amen, at the door and very nigh. Amen. All that's going to matter is are you saved? Are you washed by the blood? Have you been born again? Have you had a changed life? Amen. That's what born again means. That's what it represents. Honey, you've started over and new. Praise God through the power of God's Spirit. Old things have passed away. And behold, all things have become new in Christ Jesus. Well, I say glory. I say glory. You can be saved this morning. You can be ready for the rapture of the church. You can be ready to meet Jesus Christ today. Amen. Amen. Let me tell you this. You take it with love this morning. Playing church won't get you through. Riding somebody else's coattail won't get you through. You've got to have it yourself. Oh, praise the Lord. He's coming. He's coming. Amen. The world needs to hear. He's coming. I say sound the alarm. Ring the bell. Amen. Jesus is coming. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. He said in a flaming fire. He said, I'm coming in a flaming fire to take vengeance upon them that know not God and that have not obeyed the gospel. The gospel. Amen. The good news of the saving grace of a redeeming Savior. Woo! Named Jesus Christ that was willing. Amen. Listen, not only to tell you he loved you, but to show you he loved you when he went to the cross of Calvary, gave his life in your place. And through his death, burial, and resurrection, you can be saved. Are you saved this morning? Are you saved this morning? Are you saved? Are you saved in a manner that you're not ashamed of him? Amen. If you're in the middle of Walmart, you don't care to tell somebody about Jesus. Are you, amen, saved so good this morning that when the family comes along, honey, listen, no matter what they think, amen, you back them up and say, look, I'm going to say grace at the table today. Oh, my goodness. Are you saved this morning in a manner that when you go to the workplace, you don't act like the world, but you've done come out from among them. You're now severed. Hey, praise God. You seek to glorify the Lord. Yeah. It's easy to say you're a lot of things, but 
are you really them? Because that's what's going to matter. Because when Jesus comes, it's finished. Whew, my goodness. Amen. The way the tree falls, there shall it lay. Whew, goodness. Are you saved this morning? I don't know about you. Hey, whoever's going to sing, get ready. We're about done. Amen. I don't know about you, but amen. I sat there thinking. Amen. I heard a song the other day. It, it just fit me to the T, so to speak. I thought we growed up, Lord, down there in the country. Amen. Back off the road about a mile and a half, two miles. Amen. My wife thought, amen, I took her to the boondocks when I took her home. Amen. But I, I'll tell you this. We walked. I walked I don't know how many times up and down that gravel road. We lived on going from neighbors to neighbors, uh, working and tending to things. Um, amen. Even go out to meet the bus several times. We'd, we'd walk that gravel road. Um, amen. But I thought, amen, the other day, uh, I don't have a whole lot down here. don't need a whole lot. Uh, I don't know about you, but I'm, I'm not wanting a whole lot down here. Uh, I'm just enjoying what I've got down here. Amen. Uh, but I'll tell you this. Uh, I'm an old country boy uh, that's walked on gravel roads. Uh, but there's going to be a day uh, I'm going to walk on streets of gold. Amen. Uh, well, because I'm saved and born again and washed by the blood. I don't want to die lost. I don't want to go to hell. I don't want to miss heaven. I want to see the loved ones that's gone on before me that's lived in Christ. But more importantly than anything, I want to live with Jesus Christ forever and evermore. Are you saved? Are you saved? Are you saved today? He's coming tonight. Coming tonight, nigher than we can imagine this morning. Jesus said in Revelation 3:20, He said, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man would hear my voice and open that door, he said, I'll come in and I'll sup with you and you with me this morning. Amen. I believe God may be knocking on somebody's door. If you'll open that door this morning, if you'll just open that door and invite him in, Jesus will come in. Honey, listen, he'll change your life. He'll prepare you, praise God, for the greatest crossing a man will ever make. Praise you, he can't do that for me. If thou will confess with the mouth of the Lord Jesus and believe in thine heart that God raised him from the dead, Thou shalt be saved, Romans 10, 9 says. If you'll confess your sins, he's faithful and just to forgive you of your sins and to cleanse you from all unrighteousness. 1 John 1, 9. Oh, he's able this morning. He's able this morning. He's wanting, uh, he's wanting to save you this morning. Uh, he's wanting to redeem you. Uh, he's to claim you uh, as his own this morning. Uh, he's wanting to prepare you, uh, not for just this life, uh, but the life to come. Uh, glory, hallelujah. Are you saved? Are you saved? With time running out. With time running out. What's it going to take? The world's looking for a catastrophic movement on earth. I hear this all the time. Preacher will know when there's some great earthquake, there's been many great earthquakes on this earth already. Preacher, we'll know. We'll know when there's a mildless diverse diseases. There's diseases across the land today. Amen. Have been and will be. He said those are just the beginning of sorrows. That ain't the end yet. That's just the start of trouble. Amen. Where will you be when Jesus comes back this morning? Where will you be?